Not many horses can be said to have changed the course of an entire industry, but Mr. San Pepe did just that for two, ranching and cutting. In the 1960s, Gordon B. Howell was an American quarter horse breeder with equal interests in cutting and in racing. He had a pretty good stallion, Leo San, and a pretty good mare, Peppy Bell by Pep Up. Their first foal, Peppy San, was born in 1959 and inducted into the American Quarter Horse Hall of Fame 40 years later. Their last romance produced Mr. San Peppy in 1968. Gordon asked Bubba Cassio to start Mr. San Pepe, but Bubba didn't have time and recommended cowboy Buster Welch to handle the Sorrel Colt's feisty temperament. Buster and Mr. San Pepe got along well enough that the Colts never made it to the racetrack. Instead, Buster's son Greg rode Mr. San Pepe in the 1971 National Cutting Horse Association Futurity. They didn't win, but just a few months later, they claimed the NCHA Derby Open title. While Mr. San Pepe was getting started in cutting, the King Ranch in Texas sent about 10 mares each to four of the most famous stallions of the day, hoping that a good stallion prospect would come from one of the crosses. AQHA past president Stephen Teo Kleberg, the great-great-grandson of the ranch's founder, says, My dad told me that I wouldn't get what I wanted, and he was right. He told me there are lots of male horses, but only a few stallions. While waiting for the test foals to mature, Tio went to a few cutting events and eventually saw Mr. San Pepe. After a few test breedings, the King Ranch was convinced of the stallion's merit and bought him in 1976. Between visits to the breeding shed that year, Mr. San Pepe won the NCHA World Championship and claimed the AQHA Senior Cutting World Championship. Winning the NCHA made him a cutting sire, Tio says. Winning the AQHA World Championship made him an American Quarter Horse. The Stallions' full crops, meanwhile, were proving themselves. Mr. San Pepe earned more than $100,000 in NCHA competition. His foals won more than $2.6 million in NCHA competition, not to mention earning more than 3,200 points in AQHA competition. Two of his most famous offspring are Pepe San Badger and Tonino Sand. Less measurable, but no less important, is the stallion's effect on the King Ranch Remuda and on the other ranches where no performance records are kept except in cowboys' memories. When the stallion died in 1998, he was buried on the ranch where he was ridden every day, carefully, because he kept his famous temperament to the end, and where his offspring are still making great cowboy memories. Please welcome the great Mr. San Pepe from the American Quarter Horse Hall of Fame. I'll also ask uh, AQHA past president T.O. Kleberg to come up and accept the award. I want to correct uh, Dr. Blodgett. There is only one horse association, and that's the American Quarter Horse Association. And the horse has given so much to this industry and so much to us as individuals. I talked to the fellow that worked this horse and trained him and campaigned him yesterday. Couldn't be with us because he was sick. And Buster's comments to me were, he said, Mr. San Pepe did everything I asked him to do. And that sums up his career. But in developing of Mr. San Pepe from 1975, after we acquired the horse on, there were two individuals that were extremely important in that uh, road to success. And they're sitting over here at table 18. One of them is my wife, Janelle. Would you stand up, Janelle? Janelle. <laughs> Janelle campaigned many of, the, the, of his first foal crop that we were able to, to, when we started breeding, we didn't have any foal, so we went out and bought four or five that we could get our hands on the campaign and Janelle was showing along with myself trying to promote this horse and while we were on the road promoting our horse we had a extremely talented and personal friend of mine at the ranch uh, 
working with Mr. Sam Pippen. He's also sitting at table 18, and that's Dr. John Tokes. John, stand up. John is responsible for his career for Mr. Sam Pepe. He, uh, he bred every mare. He took care of Mr. Sam Pepe's personal health and to my knowledge never gave him a shot of anything. He was the most amazing horse that I personally have ever been around. Hauled hundreds of thousands of miles, car wrecks, never did that horse take a lame step. And it was an amazing uh, uh, athlete to be around and the influence he had on our lives and then the influence he had on the King Ranch uh, quarter horses was immense. We still have a number of his daughters and granddaughters that we uh, still use today, still bring today. And I want to recognize one other friend of mine that was on the executive committee with me and uh, he is here also tonight and that's table 18, that's uh, past president Howard Weiss, very close friend of mine and uh, joining us tonight. Howard. Are you awake now? Not at all. Thank you all for making this great honor on our, our wonderful horse. Thank you.